Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, as the Holy Spirit leads, I will speak on certain things. Now, this woman right here, her name is Renee Moses, is a known and renowned notorious false prophet. You can Google yourself how many expose videos are out on this woman. She's a nut. And I'm going to be honest because she falsely prophesied the rapture many times. Says, oh, the rapture is going to be this year and that year and nothing ever comes to pass. Okay. So. Here is her channel. Okay. As a Christian person, you shouldn't be watching TV anyway. Here she is recommending watching Resident Evil. She's trying to use that as a way to say zombie apocalypse. Okay. Um, in fact, this looks like it's a video game. As a Christian person, you shouldn't even be watching or playing video games. That means that she plays video games. See that? She promotes that. So I, I couldn't even stomach looking at that. So we also have Labyrinth, which I believe is a movie. Okay. Cast Away. So as a Christian person, should you be playing games and watching TV and violent movies? It's ungodly. And look. She exploits God even so, because God says in the Bible, you're not supposed to accept money to preach the gospel. Do you remember, Marcus, my son's with me. What scriptures you saw that in? Uh, Matthew chapter 10, I believe, and Luke chapter 10 as well. And, and it's all over the word of the Most High God. So here, she's trying to make money by promoting her false prophecies regarding the rapture. Hi guys, I just wanted to let all of you know that my book is now available to purchase online at the link below. The cost to publish the book from the company was $4 and... Who would publish this garbage is beyond me. Now I'm going to show you something regarding her false prophecies. Okay, there's even a huge... result you'll come up with online there's people that have blogs about this person saying she's a false prophet see that video up there here's another one false prophet YouTube she prophesied the rapture December 5th 2014 and then people are stupid enough to defend her excuse my expression to say oh she got it wrong this time she'll get it right next year but you know what, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ is not a liar. Okay? He is not a liar. He will never lie. Okay? He will tell you the truth. Every video she makes is always urgent, ur urgent, 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 urgent. Look at this. Hopefully I'll be able to get in because um, she has a blog. See that? She has a blog. And then she prophesies the rapture very falsely. And there's people that have a blog, obviously, um, against her as well. There's people that have comments about her. Like this gentleman said, Renee Mose is extremely unreliable and that's Putting it mildly, as for Rhodey, I have no desire to pile on. I'm sure he must feel terribly confused about us still being here in 2014. He was sincere, nevertheless mistaken. So this person calls Renee uh, Moses a false prophet, which she is. He acknowledges Rhodey, another false prophet, as being a false prophet. But he says he made a mistake. Well, he's a, he's a, a false prophet fan. Because God doesn't make mistakes. That's Rhodey that made the mistake because he's full of demons like this woman is and this one. Okay. Um, here we go with another one. This woman says that Rhodey was deceived. 
You can't blame him because I personally had my own confirmation. Because you're under the same divination spirit he is in, miss. Rhodey's a false prophet, plain and simple. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, um, the other thing I wanted to also let you know about is, again, you have people that disagree with her. You have other people that sit here and support these false prophets, even though they have a laundry list of false prophecies. Okay? So, these are the videos that she has. And again, she does ask for money for her ministry when you're not supposed to. Um, somebody else exposed her here. She has a laundry list. Another false prophet that you, you would recall. Let me go back to YouTube really quick. I mean, these demons are causing people to fall off the path, and it's not even funny. It, it's it's not even funny. This one here. I prophesied to this person. Hello, people of God. Let me turn that off. Who's a false prophet. I told them, okay, that his rapture, he prophesied the rapture was going to be April 2015. Never happened. According to the word of God, I'm going to take you to scripture. Okay. I'm going to take you to scripture. Okay. And I'm going to let you see for yourself. I'm going to let you guys see it for yourself. Okay? Deuteronomy 18.20. Try that. 18.22? That's my 11-year-old son, ladies and gentlemen. A devout follower of God. Not like these false prophets out here. And all glory goes to Jesus. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Deuteronomy 18.22. He's very enthusiastic about the Lord. Praise Jesus. All right, as we all are. I'm going to let you see for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very crystal clear. This is clear. Okay? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. But the prophet hath spoken it, hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. In other words, this is a, a pro, this is a scripture that Rachel Sheriff ignores because she's another false prophet. If a prophet prophesies something and it does not happen, that person's a false prophet. That person was never sent by God. So let's test the spirits, ladies and gentlemen. This is the word of God. You know that the word of God said if a false prophet prophesy one time it doesn't come to pass, that is something he had not which spoken. The Lord says do not be afraid of them. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, open up Deuteronomy chapter 22. Okay. Chapter 18. I'm sorry, 18. 18. Let's read seven verse. Let's read verse seventeen. Okay, and the Lord said unto him, "They have unto me, they have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among the brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I have commanded, him. and it shall come to pass. That means that if it comes to pass, that person's a prophet of God." Okay, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, where he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak um, in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if, thou, and if thou say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, and if the thing come, follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. So ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's test the spirits, shall we? He prophesied the rapture was April 2015. That did not come to pass, okay? So that means that this person, false prophet demon, is that a false prophet? Now, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I prophesied to him that his rapture prophecy will fail. I also prophesied to him that he will be too scared and he will not come on YouTube to make another video because he's going to be struggling on what other crazy devil's doctrine, crazy theory as to why his prophecy failed yet again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this guy has a laundry list of failed prophecies. Okay, and it is beyond me why people support a false prophet. Okay, when the word of God clearly says, okay, that we are not to associate ourselves with sinners. You see these comments? There are people that try to correct them. This is my channel, okay? I have this channel on End Times Deliverance. I've prophesied to him before. Letting him know, okay? Will you die for Jesus is my channel, okay? Prophesied to him before, okay? To this roadie person, try to correct him. He refuses correction. He will block you just like a common false prophet Jezebel spirit would do. Other people have said you are a false prophet. No man knows the day or the hour. Right here. Um, I'm sure this person was full of righteous anger. So please pardon the, the uh, fat boy comment. Um, this one is deluded. Great message, brother. Well, your brother is a false prophet. Uh, you know, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you just got to be, you just got to listen. You just got to be like very weary well, I'm sorry, cautious of who you listen to and stop listening to trolls and false prophets like this. I'm going to show you his channel. Okay? So you can see the evidence. Undisputable. Look at his channel. How many times he's date set. Rapture 2014 failed. Again. This guy has this deluded theory that uh, he uses the Gregorian calendar, and this is his excuse for his crazy theory. This guy's nuts. Forgive my expression, okay? He has this deluded theory that we are in the year 2014 because the Gregorian calendar says so. The Gregorian calendar is pagan. You just can look it up for yourself. This is the year 2015, not 2014. He just doesn't want to face facts that he's a false prophet, and, you know... That the rapture is not going to happen and the scriptures says no man knows the day nor the hour. Shall we look up that scripture, ladies and gentlemen? He said the Lord told them the date of the rapture. Let's go to the scriptures and we shall see if it is true. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. I invite you to open up your Bibles. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew 24, Mark 13, Mark th 13, 32. I mean, let's go to Matthew, shall we? He said that Jesus Christ told them the day of the, the, day of the rapture. Really, Rody? But then why does it say in Matthew 24, 36, but of that day and hour knoweth no man? Not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So are you saying, Mr. Rody, that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is not going to tell his angels or his only son. God's not going to tell his only son, Jesus Christ, but he's going to tell a mere man. So when you say something like that, you're exalting yourself above the most high Jesus Christ and his angels. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is to tell you that he's a liar that the Lord Jesus Christ is not going to tell any man, but of that day and hour knoweth no 
man. No human being is going to know when God's coming. That makes Rhodey's uh, prophecy a lie. That that this is irrefutable evidence. This rebuttals Rhodey's claim that God told him that he's coming in 2014, in 2013. No man knows the day, the hour, or the year. Okay. No, not the angels or heaven, but my father only. So I know it doesn't say the year here. The reason why it doesn't say the year here is because God's timing doesn't work on man's timing. God's timing is different. So bottom line is God's not going to tell anybody, not even mankind, nor the angels, nor the father. I mean, I'm sorry, not mankind, nor the angels, nor Jesus Christ, no, no man, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Father God's not going to tell anyone. Only the father knows when, okay, uh, he's coming, when Jesus Christ is coming back. Just so you all know, that is evidence that his prophecies are that, a lie. So, um... I'm going to close this out. With this note, okay? Be careful who you listen to. Do not listen to false prophets. Okay? Be careful. Just because they give you these false doctrines that tickle your ears. Look at this guy's channel, 2013. Look how many times he posts, he, uh, Dated, he even did it two years ago. Excuse me. Yeah, two years ago. 2013. He did it in 2014. Every year this guy date sets. And it's beyond me why he has that many subscribers. But oh well. These are, these are people that are deluded. You know, a cult that listen to this false prophet. Be careful you listen to ladies and gentlemen. That being said, test the spirits. Go to Jesus Christ, ask him if what I tell you is true, and you guys have a good night.